In the picture above, you will notice my chromosomes are labeled in two different ways. The first way that you can talk about a chromosome is as sister chromatids. A sister chromatid is nothing more than an exact copy of a chromosome, and this chromosome gets its exact copy before mitosis or meiosis occurs. It is an exact copy of the genes. The other way you can discuss chromosomes is talking about them as homologous pairs. In each of your cells, you have 46 chromosomes or 23 pairs. Of the pairs, one of those chromosomes came from your mom and one came from your dad. If you will notice above, the homologous chromosomes contain the same types of genes, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, but the alleles, or the descriptive way in which they are expressed, is different. So where dad might carry the alleles of big A for a gene, mom will carry little a. Or perhaps they will both contain the same alleles, like the big F alleles or the little g alleles. Once the DNA chromosomes are replicated, we can move into meiosis 1, which is reduction division. Here, before we can do anything, crossing over must occur during prophase 1. Crossing over is the exchange of genetic material or genes between homologous pairs. So if you will look above, between mom and dad's homologous chromosomes, they have shared some of their B alleles, some of the D alleles, some of the C alleles, the E alleles, and the G alleles. After meiosis 1, each of those homologous pairs will be separated, and then after meiosis 2, the sister chromatids will become separated. Each sister chromatid will end up in its own gamete, in this case sperm cells, and they will be genetically different, meaning if you were to look closely at those sperm cells, you would see that the alleles contained in each of them, while are the same types of genes, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, the actual type of allele or the way it will be expressed is different.